Hey everybody, welcome back to No Jumper News. It's Adam22. I'm here with my man AD. Let's get right into these stories. Okay, guys, we got tons of mind-blowing stories we got to talk about today, like the fact that academics has actually been suspended by complex media as well as suspended from Twitch. We got some coronavirus updates for you, and then we also got to talk to you about the fact that Lil Loaded just got shot. Let's hop right into this. Okay, so first things first, I would like to congratulate my man AD right here because he actually tested negative for the coronavirus. <laughs> We thought we weren't going to be able to have him on the show today because he had corona, but it turns out he actually doesn't. So. They was going to replace me. Yeah. Well, I was actually going to do it alone. We didn't even have time to replace you. You're a real nigga, man. Hey. Since we own this coronavirus today, recently Governor Greg Abbott ordered all residents to wear face masks in public, reversing his month-long opposition as the coronavirus outbreak continued to worsen in Texas. California Governor Gavin Newsom, he ordered 19 counties with surging coronavirus cases to shut down all bars, indoor restaurants, Jesus Christ, wineries, Jesus Christ, movie theaters, Jesus Christ, and other venues. The decision was made in response to a new spike in COVID-19 cases. The new restrictions, which will affect 75% of California, includes residents of Los Angeles and Sacramento counties and several counties in the Bay Area. Businesses were reopened at the beginning of May when California's curve was flattening and the pandemic seemed to be more under control. At this press conference, Governor Newsom stated to the media, let's do our best to meet this moment. As we met the moment many months ago and bent the curve again the first time, let's do it again. Okay, so uh, the coronavirus, you're a survivor. How's it feel? Man, I was so scared the last two days. And I felt bad because I almost ruined the whole No Jumping News for everybody. I told him yesterday, I was like, hey, look, my homeboy I was working out with, he just got tested positive for corona. I was like, y'all might have it, man. But I went today. And I don't got it. Blood test is negative. We celebrating today, man. We're going to be drinking, having a good time, man. Yeah, we do these streams where we play you guys' music. If you want to donate, you can get your songs heard. We do it on YouTube. Best way to find out about it is probably to follow me on Twitter. Follow AD on Twitter. We're yeah. always tweeting about when we're going to go live and everything. But yeah, man, it was really uh, nice to get to text my girlfriend just now and be able to say, hey, AD, the guy that I sit next to and get breathed on every day by, doesn't actually have the COVID. And we get fist bumps. We get fist bumps now. We've actually probably never shook hands the whole time we've known each other, huh? Your hands probably are clammy. Yeah, to be honest, I haven't washed my hands in the last six years, so they're probably kind of gross. You're a good man. I'll shake your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm free, man. I'm free. But on a more serious note, though, this is changing up how I'm picturing the next year of my life going because there was a little period there where everybody was out protesting and it seemed like it was all good where I started to feel like, you know what? Everything's back to normal. All of a sudden, I just seen pictures of the beaches in Santa Monica. That's what I did. Things are not back to normal. There ain't nobody out doing nothing. My friend just got diagnosed and I was with him Monday and I was scared. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you got children and stuff. And my whole thing was, he was like, Man, you should go get tested. I was like, I ain't about to go get tested. But then I thought about it. He told me, he said, you know what? You may you taking it good, but somebody may get it around you. And they may not take it, and they may die. So I was like, you're right, bro. So I went to go do it. I was afraid, but I dug into my fears, and I got the test, and I'm negative. Okay, next story. Lil Loaded. He appears to be making a full recovery after being shot. While he was live on Instagram from his hospital bed, Lil Loaded pinned a comment that read, Ya boy done got shot. Attempting to show off his wound underneath the bed sheet, he reassured concerned fans that he was okay because the shooters did a lousy job. <laughs> Let's play the clip. Yeah, on the game, we good, man. We good. He's gotta do better than that, though. Yes, sir. On Twitter, he also issued a short statement assuring his fans that he's all right by saying, I'm good. Thankfully, Lil Loaded is all right. He's been on the rise for the last year, recently releasing a new music video with YG Gang Unit Remix and also the Glock Baby Remix with NLE Choppa. I think it's Block Baby. Oh, yeah, you're right. All right, the Block <laughs> Baby Remix with NLE Choppa. Right, Block, Glock, all those sixes is kind of confusing. Finally, Lil Loaded, we just spent some time watching his videos and stuff. I think he's pretty good. Uh, he got shot. He's saying that his ops are pussies on Instagram Live. Uh, how do you feel about it? I mean, Lil Lotus with the blue team, so you already know. I'm biased when it comes down to that. And, you know, shout out to my dog, Jizzle. You so know this what I mean? ain't a blood thing? This is a MAGA hat? It's not a MAGA hat. It's you a USA hat. You Trump rally, though? No, I love the United States of America. I'm not with the MAGA movement, though. I like that, though. That's cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. Make Compton great again. Oh, my God. Oh, that's that hard! Hat. Why did Ooh. they not do that again? I feel like they made every <clears throat> single... Bro, Big that is head. fire! Make, make lyrical hip hop great again. Make rap what about? music hot. 
again. At the end of the day, hats. How about that? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because you, it has been pointed out that you say at the end of the day more than almost anyone else on earth. Hey, you know what's crazy? I looked at the um, the new stuff from yesterday and I said it then. Mm. I said, wow. I say it too much. At the end of the day is your on phonum grave if you're like Rico Reckless or like anyone from Chicago. Oh my God. Just inject that into every spare moment of the conversation. Or like if you have like a little valley girl, white girl, she's going to say like, like, and I, and I like, and I like, but you're like, and uh, at the end of the day, went to the movies, at the end of the day, it was a good movie. Every, at the end of the day. The funniest thing was A, at the end of the day, D, movie. So now we know the root of AD's That's my name. name. Yeah. But anyway, a little loaded. Uh, it's good to see that uh, he is doing better. I do think it's kind of spooky that he got shot like a week after he put out two big ass videos with features and shit. Like that kind of just makes me wonder like was the was the heat cranked up on him? Like are his ops mad as hell? To He's see him destined. Shining? That is means he, he about to here? pop. He about to pop even more now. Yeah. Getting, getting he shot, ready. Getting shot is kind of part of the whole process. Man, wish like, that right? wish that young man a speedy recovery, man. Facts. Little Reach loaded, for the though. stars, man. And stay strapped, my brother. Yeah, a little loaded. Stay out of trouble. Keep your ass in the house. COVID is real. COVID is real. COVID is really real. It almost took AD out they the game. They took me out the game. Supporter. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. Academics has reportedly been suspended from Complex's Everyday Struggle show for two episodes. You know, he does the show with Wayno and Nadeska. Well, apparently, the thing that got him suspended was the fact that he unleashed a vicious tirade against Chrissy Teigen as well as John Legend. Okay, so we got the quote from Academics right here where he talks about exactly why he doesn't like Chrissy Teigen. He said, one time... Chrissy Teigen sneak this me, so F that hoe. Straight up. I don't care if John Legend's bitch or any other bitch. How about you take that big ass mouth of yours and that fucking weird ass Ooh. looking face and start buying your man's Ooh. album? Ooh. Chrissy Teigen suck a dick. Ooh. So apparently academics had a little chat with Complex and they told him that this was not acceptable and they suspended it from two episodes of Everyday Struggle. Also Twitch, if you don't know, Twitch has super strict restrictions where they don't let you say certain things on there. You can't attack somebody. It's very easy to get banned on Twitch basically. So academics is banned on there. We're not sure for how long. Typically these things last maybe a couple weeks. So soon after Academics released an apology where he explained the comments and talked about the fact that he regretted it and he thought it was rude. Also, Academics was allegedly drunk as hell. I just want to say allegedly because I can't prove it, but he was definitely in a special state of mind during this Twitch stream. Freddie Gibbs celebrated the small victory with a silly meme from Big Fendi with Academics' head photoshopped on a funeral attendant's body with the caption, just left a service for academics RIP. In his Instagram post, Freddie Gibbs then included a screenshot from a tweet that stated, Complex has suspended academics for his comments towards Chrissy Teigen. He will be apologizing to her on the next EDS episode. Twitch has banned academics for promoting careless behavior, excessive drinking, and <laughs> ranting like a child. He will appeal. Following the news that academics have faced a ban from Twitch and suspension from his Complex show, Meek Mill took time to react, saying that academics was also banned from the trenches. How you feeling, man? All I gotta say, <laughs> is that it's pretty crazy that Academics has been able to trade bars with all these different rappers. He's talked all kinds of crazy stuff about all these rappers, all these different media personalities, all these different people he had to smoke with. You say one word about Chrissy Teigen, you call Chrissy Teigen a bitch, and eh, it's over. She got power. Let me tell you something. Chrissy got a Quibi show. Quibi on play. You feel me? But if I was John Legend, he need to take one of the piano keys and crack egg on the back of the head. I would do it, man. He talk about his wife, man. Yeah, it's pretty funny because Chrissy Teigen is like the queen of Twitter and she's she's not above hopping down into the trenches and, and duking it out with people. She'd be arguing with random people and stuff. This whole thing has been happening with Academics, who's one of the biggest voices in like hip hop commentary. Chrissy Teigen ain't said a word about it from what I've seen. John Legend, he's been ghost, so you ain't even heard nothing from them. They're not even clouting them up. Like if they tweeted about it, Academics will get so much more recognition, not in a good way, but he would get a lot more clout from it, but they're not even giving him that. John Legend needs to turn to I Am Legend on this point right now. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. also, I think it's pretty crazy that Chrissy Teigen and them, like, they got, like, the ultimate publicist, the ultimate PR win. I like Chrissy Teigen. They swoop down on the complex building and they grab the CEO up by his hair and they say, hey, you got to suspend academics. You got to do something. I always wonder when PC culture was going to really, really take over hip hop. And it's like, if academics is not allowed to say the word bitch on stream, I mean, it, times they are changing. Somebody wife though, man. 
Oh, you did. Hey, 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 this ain't about me. This is about the world. <laughs> the I'm not. I'm not really with that. I don't like when people get on people's case for saying. You know, we love to disagree. Uh, I love to agree to disagree. No, yeah. Um, <laughs> could you picture who you think winning in that fight, John Legend or Academics? How tall is John Legend? Man, listen, John Legend seems like one of them people, like the the Duke of Wellington, bro, where he'll take off a glove and he'll be like, I'll challenge you to a duel and just. Yeah, they both show you know what I'm saying? That's, what I, that's how I look at John take Legend. 10 paces away from each other. He's like, they turn what's that? Shoot at each other. What's that? All right, thank you very much to everybody who watched this. This is Ben Adam22 and AD doing the news over here on No Jumper. If you want to subscribe, if you want to like, if you want to comment, do so down below. We appreciate all the support.